Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here, introducing you to the new YouTube channel, The Rough Cuts. Yes, I'm the first thing you see. The fat guy's the first thing you see on The Rough Cuts. And for those of you out there, some of you may know me, some of you may not. Those of you who don't know me, I'm probably I'm best known from being from the YouTube channel Cool Duder. On the on the YouTube Cool Duder channel, I do DVD updates which is when I show all the DVDs I've gotten over the last two weeks to sometimes three weeks. I have the Around the Town Vlogs, which is me and my friend going around to all the stores we go to, give, like showing everything we go, showing everything we get to eat, showing everything we do. Uh, if we go to a movie, we give a review of it. And we also have the Don and Murph movie reviews, which are kind of comedic reviews with these two characters that me and my friend MJ Kelly both do. I also do um, Vlogs from the set of films that I work on. Um, I, like the last movie I worked on was the, was the upcoming horror film Sasquatch Assault for Synthetic Cinema, Synthetic Cinema, and um, I guess I should talk a little bit about myself and like my favorite types of films. I really love 80s and early 90s films, and when it comes to horror films, I really love 70s and 80s films, like early 90s. But like by 1998, the horror films really started going to shit. Like with things like I Know What You Did Last Summer, and Scream movie was okay, but I never was big on that. When it comes to like my favorite films, like the ones that always come to my mind, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, um, Big Top Pee Wee was all right. It was never my favorite. I do like it though. Um, I also like some weird things, like the Peanut Butter Solution, which is this weird film about this kid who sees a fright and all of his hair falls out. So he has to these ghosts come to him in the night and tell him to put this peanut butter in his head. And if he screws it up, it's going to start growing. And there's this funny Chinese kid who puts it on his pubes and on his attack and all. Very strange film, but. Definitely one to check out. It's still not on DVD in America yet. Um, some other favorite ones: The Return of the Living Dead. Um, like they, like when it comes to when it comes to George Romero zombie films, I'd probably say my favorite is probably Day of the Dead. I know I'm jumping all around, but I wasn't exactly sure exactly how to start this off since I'm the first thing you see, and I just want to give like a total rundown of everything. I guess I'll name off some of my favorite films. I'm looking at a list of some that really stand out though. Clifford, not the Big Red Dog. Some people always like. You talk about The Big Red Dog, I'm like, no, the Martin Short, Charles Grodin film. I, I also, um, there's another one, It's Pat, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, Ticks, House of a Thousand Corpses, The Brady Bunch Movie, Little Rascals, House Arrest, Get Real, Throw Them Off in the Train, Heart Beeps, which is a very cool Andy Kaufman film, which I remember the first time I watched that, like the opening, the scene of it when it's both Andy Kaufman and the, the girl robot up on the shelf, I remember starting crying to it. Just something just truly beautiful about it. Um, Dead End Drive-In, Session 9 is one a very good horror film. I think from 2000, 99, 2000, Bean, Blank Man. I'm just going through some of my favorites, like as a rundown for people who haven't seen me before. Summer Rental, What About Bob, Home Alone, Uncle Buck, The Original Hills Have Eyes, Troll 2. Now, Troll 2, a lot of people always say the best, worst movie. And the thing is, when I first saw that movie as a kid, I never saw that as a bad movie, and I don't call me crazy, but I always saw that as a, actually a good film, and I never saw any problems with it. I know, I know some of the acting in it could have been a bit better, but I mean, I always liked it. I, I always thought it was a good movie, and still to this day, I don't really see it as a bad movie. And I, I know, I know everyone else does, but I really don't. Um, the other one is The Willies, Problem Child One and Two. Those are movies a lot of people don't like. I love those movies. I remember, I met Lorraine Newman. At a convention, I said there mentioned you don't have anything to sign for Prom Child Two, and she made a face like. And I was like, you know, Lorraine, it really was a good movie. I know everyone shits on it, but I love it. The other one, the original Willy Wonka, like I said, the Peanut Butter Solution, National Lampoon's Vacation, which I hope does not get remade, The Witches, The King Kingpin, Freddy Got Fingered, The Dream Team, Office Space, and after working like a real shittest job, I can really tell, like you know relate to Office Space, Cabin Fever. Ghostbusters 1 and 2, I'm not talking about like film work, I'm talking about like this theater theater job I have. Ernest Goes to Camp, Last House on the Left, the original, not the remake. The remake was okay, this was not the same. Encino Man, Biodome, Son-in-Law, Captain Ron, The Goonies, Hansel and Gretel, the one from the 80s, the Canon Films made. I remember as a kid, I always would watch that and play that left and right song and sing along to it like a, like a total fool. Um, the original Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead. And like Day of the Dead has some of the best, like my favorite scenes though. Especially the come on! Puss fuck! Come on! That's my favorite thing from that with Captain Rhodes. Um, Chuck and Buck, which is a very weird film. A lot of people haven't seen. 
I think it's Chris Y. White's produce stars, and it's a lot of producers who never act, like the producer and director of the new um, Twilight film. It's, I don't care about that, but he, the, the, who was the star of Chuck and Buck, the director, he's directing that. Um, Ace Ventura 1 and 2, Click, which is a really good like film in the last few years. The Witcher Massacre is one of my favorite shot on video films. And I'm probably going to do a series of my favorite shot on video films, some of my future updates. This is just going through a total rundown about me and everything. And um, I'm probably going to do some spoofs and things like that in future videos. But this is pretty much just my first introduction. So I just wanted to say some stuff about me. And um, if you want to see more of my other videos, definitely, if you're interested, subscribe to my main channel, youtube.com slash cooldooter. I probably have a link you can click for that. And um, definitely leave comments on this video. And um, I hope you enjoyed my first introduction to this channel. And um, every Monday, be on the lookout for more videos from me. They cover certain topics, subjects that don't just jump all around like a nutcase. Like this, that, doop, this. Like, believe me, I'll, keep, I'll stick to one subject. But I wasn't fully sure what I was saying. I was a little confused, but I tried my best. And that's all I could ever do. That's all I could ever do. So uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, and um, hope you all subscribe to the Rough Cut channels if you just came across me in a blue fart or blue moon.